here with you and I've been super busy of making this humongous humongous release on my Etsy store I don't think I ever made one so big so I'm hoping that you guys are gonna love what I made I was like I said super super busy I also went through my stash and I decided to um, to let go of some things because there are certain things that I have in multiples and I need to to share and uh, this way I can get some other items so I will be and and there's thir certain things that I've asked you if you wanted and you said yes so that's what I'm sharing so the first things I made are some of the painty tags so there's four sheets um, per set so there's two sets of the rectangular ones and there's two sets of the uh, circle ones so you, you can find those in my Etsy store they're all a bit different and there's texture to them and they're really yummy I'm hoping you're gonna like these so those are all in the purples so that's one thing I made. The other thing I did was to cut out some Sari fabric and I've made sets of multiple pieces. So there's there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, piece, uh, five, six pieces per set. And they're all different. So this is one and then you have this beautiful one and like I said they're all the the pieces are all very different this one uh, this one they're just so gorgeous so and like I said they're all different because there's miscellaneous pieces on them this one is in pink but you've got the gold on it and then this one is in the orange but you also have the gold shimmer on it so the pieces are um, in inches some of their this one is 13 by 10 um, so they're all about different they're all different sizes the biggest is about that and then the smallest it depends because like I said this like this one here I cut it so that the embellishment would go with it so as to keep as much of the embellishment together so those are all the different pieces and uh, so like I think um, kind of this one is the smallest and this one you see is 10 10 by 7 so let me drop that down because I'm gonna forget so there's uh, we said uh, 13 by by 10 and there's the other one that's about 11 well 12 11 yeah 11 and a half by 7 and something Um, so that's about the size that they're at and obviously like I said there's the other one that's kind of different this one is 11 by nine and a half so they're really all kinds of different sizes so there's this set and then there's this set So I'm hoping that you guys are going to like this, and uh, but I'm anxious to see. So that one, this one, and then this one. I love all the gold on this. It's just so shimmery. And then this one has a flower on it. So it's really stunning. And then there's that one, which is really beautiful as well. 
And then finally, this one which has all the gold and the pink. So, that's another set. I'll be taking pictures of them individually, so if there's one that you particularly like, you can possibly find it if it hasn't been sold. So there's this one, and then that, and then this one, look at that. So yes, it's not it's not 12 by, by something, but I mean, look at the detail on this, and the beading on it, it's just, yeah, gorgeous. So hopefully, this is something that you're gonna appreciate, and based on the response, I will list more you guys really like it um, if there's no demand for it well then I'll just play with them so that and then finally there's this one this set which has this here which is that one is a big piece of pink and then there's that and then this orange and then this one has this beading on it so it's a bigger piece but it doesn't have the big uh, design on it like the other ones did so it really depends on what you want to use it for and there's really I can't take orders for this separately because there's no way I can cut um, the pieces in in other ways that is going to fit with um, with what you want. So then one one thing I did is go through my napkins and I decided to make sets. So there's two sets of each of the the different napkins I'm going to share with you. So there's the skulls and the skulls. I've taken I've taken notes. There's eleven skulls. So they vary in size. Some are long. Some are square, and I've accumulated a bunch of different skulls, and I've been gifted some. So I keep, I keep some for every single one. Um, I keep two, but then there's a limit to how much, how many I'm going to be able to use. So that's why I'm letting go of some of them because I need to uh, to make some space. And then there's the C. So the C has five different ones. So there's the mermaid. And then fish. So the mermaid is, is four of the mermaid. I didn't do that for the other ones. I should have done that for the skull. So let's try this again. So the skull is... This is the, skull, the first. And then uh, this one opens up like that. And then this one opens up and there's four of them. Same thing here, four of the same. Same here. This one is also like that. And this one I think as well. And that, that one as well. And that, so is this one. This one here has one skull. And the rest is black. And then uh, this one here has one skull. And the rest has flowers on it. Okay, so... So those are the skulls. Oops. Okay, so that's not going well. My camera is going. Okay, so then I have the C ones. So this one has four mermaids. And then this one has fish. And you see that there's um, lobster and crabs. And then this one has the seashells. There's this one. 
and then this one says seize the day and you got it once shiny and then three that are not shiny so that's the C and then there's the the ones that I call the lace type of um, design so this one has six so one two five six so there's six design one is like this and then you've got this one and then there's that one and then this one it opens up like that and this one opens up like this and you have three folds and then finally there's that one just like this so that's the lace so that one has six different designs then you've got the travel which uh, has ten different napkins so you have this one which is long it has the multiple of that then there's one that has a map of Sydney one of London and one of New York so it repeats then one that has um, some uh, lighthouses this one is of Amsterdam and this one is Paris this one is also Paris so is this one there's a lot for Paris and then this one is also New York is the same as the smaller one but in a bigger format so that's the 10 travel ones then there's the food uh, actually there's a drink not the food food the food first and then that's the drinks okay so for the food I have eight different ones. So you have olives, an ice cream, then you have strawberries. So those are great for decoupage. Then you have this, which has different cupcakes on it. This one has orange or uh, actually looks like lemons this one looks like a little a bit of ice cream or um, a muffin it's not quite clear then this is a bell pepper so opens up that way and then there's some strawberries with blueberries so that's food and then there's drinks so drinks there's uh, eight different ones so this is coffee and then you've got beer tea coffee again and there's four of them this is a different type of tea and it's four times that image then you've got coffee beans with uh, coffee, different types of coffees then you have wine of course and uh, this is the beer so it also unfolds like this 
then you've got the different patterns so for the patterns there's six different ones so you've got this one which opens up as well same thing with this and then that one so like I said these are great for backgrounds in mixed media and sometimes you want to have different options but you don't this one see all the other ones had the repeat three times this one doesn't this one has it um, twice well actually not even has it once so just so you know and then that, there's this one pretty big so you can really make quite a big background using this then I've got inspirational napkins so I've got um, this one here there's 10 different ones so you've got enjoy every moment and it's four times that message then love your life same thing dream big I really love these because these are oh there should be only one um, these are perfect for putting a, a sentiment on a um, background love your life and then this one says bon appetit laugh every day so you've got four different journaling possibilities follow your dream and this one is cabin rules so there's different options and it's written once well actually twice then you do you have do what you love love what you do and this one is written multiples so you've got six options here and this one says laugh hope wish inspire dream and that one as well you've got six different options then you have the quirky ones so there's ten of those so you have eat drink be thankful uh, that one is also four times I support the four food group Chardonnay Cabernet Riesling and Merlot Gulls just want to have fun, so you can have it four times. Beware the cougar in zebra clothing, four times as well. Write like you never lied to grand jury, you also have that one. Jolly is a new black. If the shoe fits, buy it in every color. And this one has one time the saying. Real women don't cry, they whine. This one is four. And if the shoe fits, buy it in every color. That one is four times. And then cocktail hour can do absolute wonders for office morale. And that one as well, you have it in four different options. Then you've got the, the flowers, there's eight of those. You have this one. Actually, no, those are not the flowers. Those are the butterflies. Uh, is it? No, those are the flowers. Yeah, those are the flowers. Sorry. So, there's eight. There's supposed to be eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This one. Most of them have repeats, but some like this doesn't. So this one has two times this and two times that. This one has only two. And this one has a repeat pattern. So you see it 
we've got six panels and then that, that here then there's the the birds and butterfly so for those there's five um, five napkins so you've got this beautiful bird comes four times the dragonfly I love that one so much and this texture is really awesome and there's this one it's also textured this one and then this beautiful butterfly but this one you see is not um, is not the repeat the same way so you've got three times the big one and three times the smaller size butterfly and then finally there's the roses and there's ten of those so let's put these back because I'm running out of space so the roses the ones I call the roses there's these this they're not all roses it's just I needed to find a way to distinguish them when I would list them so that's why and this one had mostly roses so that's why I called it that but it's basically flowers I see there's little roses there so that's why I did that I love that one as well this one makes an awesome background so. this one is like that nice and big And then finally, this one here. So those are all the different napkins I've got listed, as well as the seri fabric and the little um, stickers sheets. Now, as well as this, I also pulled out some uh, ephemera packs so this one has 25 different cards so you've got all kinds of different designs on the back this one I'm gonna call the star because it has a star um, it has a star in the the set which is I've never seen a star shaped uh, deck before so that's 25 of these and then uh, this one there's another um, 20 25 and this one I'm calling sit on my face because of the shot recipe card I just thought it was really funny Daniels. This one is a weird shape as well. So there's all kinds of different, and you can see they're not, they're old. So like this one is bent. I mean, it's the, the way the set is. So, so there's two sets of those. And then uh, I did uh, uh, a f some 50 piece ephemera set so this one I'm calling blowfish because of this card so there's 50 different sets of ephemera in here so you've got all kinds and there's multiples of some but I only count that as one so you might see there's actually more than 50 pieces when you count every single piece of paper um, so 
so it's uh there's see this there's like two pages so this is a french type of dictionary then i've added table topics i just think these are so amazing for um uh, for journaling as journaling prompts so there's asian book pages There's all kinds of different ephemeras in there. So. All sorts of goodies. So this is fun if you want to fill up a junk journal and you don't want to go to multiple thrift stores you get a good amount of different type of ephemera and uh, it gets delivered directly to your house so this one like I said is going to be called blowfish because of the blowfish card then uh, there's uh, this one which is Ed Butts because of that. So this cute kitty is giving headbutts. I just thought it was so cute. European car playing card. Got all sorts of goodies in here. So I'm going fast because here's another star. Some Arabic language. So this one opens up. Kind of fun. Some bridge cards, flash cards. This is um, one of those um, uh, crossword puzzle type of uh, book. So there's two pages and it's in French. And this one is fun. Good news, I finally discovered the Fountain of Youth. Bad news, at my age I've forgotten what I wanted to do with it. I just love those. And there's another different saying on the back. This is German. So all kinds of different playing cards. You saw what I did with my playing cards using my uh, December Daily. If you didn't, go and check it out. That's how I use my ephemera. So it gives you an idea of what you can do with it. This I just found was so fun and so retro. This is um, an author, I think. Yeah. Black Bear. So, really fun ephemera. So, this one is Ed Butts. And then uh, this one is the light balloon. It's 25 piece ephemera, this one. Instead of uh, being the 50. So you've got this one, which has, and this is fun. This is the back. So in case you want less pieces, this is the set for you. I do have some other ones in, um, in my store that have 25 pieces I believe so you've got a few of those as well usually I don't go through the 25 pieces um, but this time I did this one is really kind of fun because it opens up so, so this and then you have two pieces of uh, French ephemera sets and they're 50 pieces each. This one is called Salade à l'orange because there's a salade à l'orange on the top. So it's a recipe card and you've got all kinds of different um, ephemera that's in French. So different options. What 
Well, it's either French or it's um, bilingual. So that's what I go with. So this opens up. It's a, it's a stamp, um, a little stamp. Ah, uh, you purchased stamp in there? I thought that's kind of fun. Monopoly, but French. The Tribal Pursuit, but in French as well. The questions are all French. And then you've got a wine card. So there's different. This is Clue, but it's in uh, it's both both languages. CPS. Strange I would say rooms though. Oh yeah, it's in it's in um it's bilingual. What was I saying? So I just find that these are really fun for journals. And not everybody has access to French, so it's kind of uh, a nice way. This is uh, Love Letters. So that's one. And uh, you can see that it was actually written on. This is a tiny little dictionary page. And this is actually a map of uh, Montreal. So this one, like I said, is called Salad. And then you have this set here, which is called Chèvre. There's also 50 pieces, and it's called Chèvre because of the goat. So, different options again. Just fun cards. I'm going fast because this video is going to be super long. And this you open up and there's a little um, thing inside it. A little uh, saying. And I didn't open it up so I have no clue what the saying is. This one you can see was used but this is a different type of um, game piece as the other one. I don't know if you noticed, but the other one was black and white, and this one is green. This is a driver's uh, log. So it's really perfect for junk journaling. This is from Stamps. So really all kinds of different fun things. This is a Picsou and a game and you can see it's been uh, it's been loved by a previous child. So this one is Chevre. So that's all the ephemera sets that the new ephemera sets that I have listed. Then uh, I have some journals. So let me start off with this one. So I did another one of the very simple, um, simple journals. So this one has 15 pages. It's uh, the large envelopes, which are nine by five and three quarters. And uh, so, like I said, it's 15 pages, so 30 pages total. It's sewn on top. It's a, a book page from um, a bird book page, and I've recycled some papers. I've sewn in a button, and there's an elastic closure. And the, um, the book itself is made out of two large envelopes that have been stitched together and then collaged. 
And this one is less expensive, obviously, because I didn't embellish it. And it's a real junk journal, as the other one, the flowers one, was. There's uh, all kinds of different papers in there, um, but it's really junk. So, fun book if you want to just have a start to something. I've put two little charms at the bottom. And this extends, so I thought that was fun. And finally that. So that's one journal, and this one, like I said, is 15 pages, so double side ma makes 30 pages total. Then I've been really busy making other journals. So I've got three different envelope journals. Um, big chunky ones and I, they were not supposed to be so chunky but they ended up being very chunky and very full so obviously more expensive because there's really a lot of stuff in there there's actually 32 pages so 64 pages total there's um, two charms with uh, dangles like this and then a charm with a little um, charm there's charms at the bottom it's also um, stitched and then with an elastic closure and the button has also been uh, stitched in and there's over 30 ephemera pieces that are in there as well so the papers are all different papers so you've got scrapbooking papers you've got deli paper that has been painted you've got recipe paper some ledger paper and um, this is actually um, to write letters, computers, then you've got some book pages, some uh, writing books, this is an envelope that was sprayed, then you've got this um, uh, hide, but it's in French, um, hidden word type of game, then you've got this pocket, this with the, the map, and this is an agenda, um, an address book type of thing, and then you've got like a little card that you can write in. So I really, it's stuff full of all kinds of goodies. These are vintage yearbook, vintage magazine. Then you've got a little bag from um, Above Park Craft. And I made here, there's a lot of stitching involved in this, as you could see with the pockets and everything. Everything has been stitched. Um, this is a time card. I didn't put everything and stuff in every single pocket, but there's in most of them. This is Midori paper. Then you've got a little, um, an actual little card. This is from a uh, typing class. Then this is from Secret Garden. I made a pocket out of it. This, I put one in every single journal because I just think it's such a great prompt to use. So I made one of those in every single. Um, this is a, um, an envelope, security envelope that's been put uh, upside, like inside out. So this extends. I won't go through all the pockets, but there's, like I said, a lot of ephemera in there and a lot of time spent sewing and putting this together and making sure that it was interesting and uh, it's really full of, and here's another charm that I made, so it's really full of uh, to the brink with things. A really fun journal to use. This one here, the pocket is not sewn, so you could actually fold it open like you can with this one. Um, it's done on purpose. So that's the first one. So this one I'm going to call the Parisian because it has the um, it has Paris um, background. And then I have uh, this one, 
uh, which has done a bunch of maps on it so it's going to be called the maps and it has a little Eiffel Tower and a little shoes for traveling um, but it's it's not a it's not a travel journal it's just that it's it's filled up with all kinds of stuff it's also with an three quarters and about an, an inch and in a quarter and they're all 32 pages um, so 64 pages total and they all have over 30 pieces of ephemera in them and all different uh, ephemera obviously uh, because it's not um, and like this here I made a little booklet it has uh, another little card so obviously the ephemera is different because and the pages are different it's uh, I can't make exactly the same because I don't have the exact same items to put into it. I love this. This is so hard for me to let go, these pages. Sprayed. And I've added some Seri uh, fabric to this, so metal pockets. Oh, I didn't put anything in there. I could have, because there's plenty, but... So like I said, I didn't put necessarily every, stuff in every single pocket, but there's over 30 pieces of ephemera. So that's a lot of ephemera in a book. This one goes out like this. So lots of stitching and lots of different details. Another little charm here, and this one as well opens up. Different type of deli paper. Okay, so I will call this one travel, but like a, a map, I should say, because it has maps on it. But it's not it's not a travel journal. It can be used for anything. It's just uh, I need to find a name for it uh, down in the description box so that you can link to it directly. Then I've got this one, which is my pink and purple uh, girly girly one. Um, so same type of thing. But this one I also added a little bit of lace. There's a little bit of extra bling bling. So they're all this similar but obviously different because the charms are different, like the ephemera inside is different. This one, that opens up. This one I put upside down, so yeah, realized it afterwards but it was too late. That's the type of stuff that I do. But it makes it unique and uh, one of a kind, obviously. Another little charm, single charm. I love this daily paper. This book page, I just love these so much. It was uh, hard using them. This one folds out. And I put a little different little... Um, this one is a card. I put a little bit of lace here to hold it. So this one is my pink and purple. Okay, and then we get into the bigger type of journals so I have I've sh oh actually no we go into the postcards so I have two sets of postcards so this first set is about Martin and has little girls 
and uh, I will be making these on that uh, they will be shown on video soon and these you've already seen me make so they're with the painting paper and there's a postcard background and it's using recycled materials those two sets of postcards and then uh, I've got this here uh, which is and I forgot to take the measurements so I should take the measurements now because I'm going to be wondering afterwards what they are and I lost my pencil so I'll use a pen I guess so this book is uh, actually ten and a half by seven and a half so and that one is a fairy so it's ten and a half by we you said seven and a half and it has the fairy in diamond painting that I did I realize that I have so many journals on the go and that's why I'm putting this one to for sale but it was hard to put it for sale because I spent so many hours on on this uh, diamond painting so yeah but at the same time um, I'm happy to see it go to a good home and this one has um, all kinds of different papers in it so there's one two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen beige um, cardstock and then you've got black so you've got one two three four five six uh, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen as well and those are thick cardstock so um, I want to write black so those are thick cardstock you can see and uh, they can be used for journaling and because it's ring bound you can obviously add more to it um, there's plenty of space so that's one of the journals that I'm letting go then uh, I made three other journals this is Dr. Forrester because that's what the name is here um, this one is actually uh, eight eight inches by five by one and a quarter and it has two signatures of 15 pages each so if you count front and back that means 60 pages total um, it's made out of Fabriano paper, Midori paper, Rhodia paper, Tomo River paper um, as well as other um, book pages and stuff like that I've put some charms here as well so this is more of a type of writing journals if you want I just love this cover so so much that's why I left it as is and I use some painty paper on the inside and this one contrary to my usual it doesn't it's not tied to the back here you can see so and there's little charms at the bottom as well and I've also put uh, some ephemera in there uh, so there's a lots of ephemera pieces and I didn't count how many I did so one two three four five six seven and I did a lot of um, personal ephemera so you can see painty paper eight nine Okay, so my memory card uh, got filled up and uh, as I was counting the ephemera pieces <laughs> but at the same time I realized that it was already written on my paper that there was 20 pieces, a little bit more than 20 actually, of ephemera pieces. So let's just continue without counting. Uh, so this is the first signature. And like I said, there's a lot of writing 
paper here and uh, mixed media paper and uh, just beautiful paper to use for uh, and this is the second signature and this one is um, coffee dyed there's a lot of stitching as well and uh, like I said I've included some ephemera that I made so there's things that have been in made so it is uh, a special type of uh, journal and I really love the colors because they're totally my colors so I hope you like this so this is Dr. Forrester now the next one is a super 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 girly one this is my first time ever making one of those uh, small golden books um, journal and I used Alice first words I cleaned out the cover as best as I could I've added little book corners and um, I've added a little dangle here there's four signatures um, each signature has 20 pages so in total you've got um, actually each signature has oh, I can't remember it's 80 pages in total so four signatures 20 pages per signature so 10 pages so five five pages per signature 10 double-sided um, no actually <laughs> 10 plus double-sided so 20 so 20 page per signature which is 80 pages oh yeah yeah it's late I'm tired I was working on this all day I've been this was the first one I finished and I wanted to share it with you guys but then I really wanted to do more so this one has is six inches by five and three quarters and two inches of spine I've used some beautiful fabric I've added a ton of lace in this one and it's really really a little girly one I left this as is because I just thought it was so pretty and uh, then there's two of those charms I added one of those because just in case you want to use it there's um, 25 pieces or more of ephemera in here this one had only one signature of um, book so when I split it up um, the story is not in order but this being said it really doesn't it doesn't matter because of what it is the story so you can kind of go uh, either or this here has a little belly band so you can put something in there you will see me make these I've made them with uh, above bar craft stuff so that is coming soon and every single signature has little charms at the bottom and I really went girly girl um, I've added a little place to journal and there's all sorts of lace and uh, it's just yeah full of yummy goodness and uh, I'm hoping that you guys are gonna like it here I just had to add that just because I just thought it was pretty and there's a lot of stuff that I handmade as well and there's a lot of stitching as well in this but you can use this the same way I did for my December uh, daily you saw how I used it so there's all sorts of ways that you can use this and uh, just have fun with it and just there's another little tuck spot here if you want and lots of little lace hanging this is a little booklet that also has a video coming A lot of spoilers basically in this I've added this which I thought was super cute this was gifted to me and uh, but it was just perfect for this journal so I had to use it 
and this is a pocket and I've added the leftover piece of fabric and made another little pocket here so that is a chunk full of goodness pink and girly and just yeah you can see how chunk full it is um, but there's still room for you to grow and I left it quite big so that you can make it even chunkier if you want obviously if you remove all the ephemera it wouldn't be as chunky so that's one option um, if you don't like chunky monkeys and but I really love them and last but not least this is this is the book that I spent um, probably the most amount of time making and the most um, pages and everything this one has uh, six signatures um, and they're all of uh, six pages each so basically when you count all of this it's 144 pages this is the front and the back of all of them um, it wasn't supposed to be that many but I messed up and I had to insert extras because I just thought it would look funny so this one is a, is a six seven and a half by six and a half by three inches. I've also added book corners. This one is from a French book. It's the Petit Livre d'Or, but it's ID. I love ID when I was a kid, and so I was very excited to use um, to make this journal. I used this beautiful fabric on the spine. I've made a charm as well, and added a bunch of different beads that I thought was fitting. I've added some lace as well for this one um, this one has over 50 pieces of ephemera so it's really it's it's the most the fullest book ever and I've never used so much lace in my life so yeah I really really use a lot um, and I spent a long time making this one so but I really love how it turned out and I'm hoping that you guys are gonna like it as well and I've added all kinds of different ephemeras in here I love this pocket I just thought it was so fun and then I've added other books uh, pages from other books this one here is a postcard well it's not a postcard it's a um, digi image that I hand colored so this is really end colored and there's a lot of details in here so um, this is extra special because it took me forever to make that and I decided to include it in this book because yeah this book is is that special to me And I just realized that I forgot to put my little charms at the bottom. So I'm going to be putting little charms at the bottom as well. This one here opens up. And there's more. There's little, uh, little postcards that you've seen me make, I think. And other little pieces that I received. Belly band. This is also made using the leftover pieces, which I thought was fun. So, made of scrapbooking paper. This here is you. Uh, I don't think you saw me make this yet, but it's coming. So I've included that. I've added some flowers. This is an above par craft little bag. I've, uh, sh I'm sharing this soon on video on how to make this. A belly band, and this is one of those little envelope uh, booklets. So, very fun and thick and lots of space. So yeah, I've, I spent lots and lots and lots of time on this one. I really love um, 
how it turned out. I think I did a really awesome job, if I may say so myself. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to agree with me. Um, this one has uh, three charms with little, uh, oh no, two charms with little bling, but then you've got this little bling from, from the other little um, pocket thingy here. So yeah, there's, there's lots of interest and things to look into and look at. So this one is the most expensive one. Um, like I said, it's, it's taken me so, so long to make and uh, there's a lot of love and in, in, in it so I'm hoping that it's gonna find a good home otherwise I will end up using it and uh, that will be that uh, I'll be fine with that too because it's gorgeous um, but I would love it to uh, go to a good home and I'd like to know if this is the type of book that you guys like or not so uh, that is it Whew, it's been a long one um, I hope you like all the new stuff I brought out for you guys uh, it's been it's been really fun making it I think now I need a break <laughs> uh, but at least my Etsy store is gonna be filled back up because it was getting pretty bare and that uh, that is it for now bye everyone have a great Sunday